السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وكفى وصلاة وسلام على سيد الرسل وخاتم الأنبياء محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we wrap up with the month of Ramadan as we call it within the final days what is it that we can do to maximize the benefit within these last few hours or in the last day of the month of Ramadan some practical points to keep in mind what we can do and Inshallah, they won't be too lengthy, it won't be too difficult for us to do. We can do so as we're moving about within our day. We can do so as we are working, we can do so as we're walking. Point number one would be to send salutations upon the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that doesn't take long. All it does, all it takes from us is to simply say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad or say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and this is in direct command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima oh you believe send salutations upon Muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the reward is immense on an average day the benefit of reciting salawat ala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will erase 10 of our sins give us 10 hasanat in return and elevate our status within Jannah by 10 ranks. SubhanAllah, that's on an average day. We are in the month of Ramadan and then literally the final days of the month of Ramadan. So just imagine how much reward we can get simply by reciting Salawat and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We owe him a lot. Regardless of what we do, we can never repay the debt Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has really done for us. Being the last and the final messenger of Allah, Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Second point, istighfar, repentance, tawbah. This is yet another command of Allah. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu tubu ila Allahi tawbatan nasuha. Or you believe, repent towards Allah, make repentance with sincerity, ikhlas. We've spoken about this throughout the Quran Connection series. All it takes, simple, astaghfirullah. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. La ilaha illa anta subhanak inni kuntu minal zalimeen. And oh Allah, I'm sorry. Oh Allah, I'm sorry for the mistakes and the sins that I've committed, inshallah, I will not do so again. And the benefit of istighfar is yet again immense. All it takes is so simply to say, astaghfirullah. Third point, sadaqah, charity, giving in what you can. It doesn't necessarily have to be you know, monetary, it doesn't have to be your finances. A simple form of sadaqah can be just a, a kind gesture, you know, to your family, to your relatives, to those that you may know or you may not know. A smile is a form of sadaqah. Cleaning the house of Allah is a form of sadaqah. If you find an empty bottle within the masjid, you find, you know, trash lying around, just bismillah, pick it up and throw it away. That's a form of sadaqah. Be kind to everyone, inshallah. Yet another point, remembrance of Allah, the dhikr of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned this many times within the Qur'an that يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ ذِكْرًا كَثِيرًا وَسَبِّحُوهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَصْوِيلًا or you believe, remember Allah and remember Him abundantly so the best form of dhikr is لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ which is the kalima that we believe in there is no one worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم and Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is His Messenger another point Make dua, lots of dua, lots of dua, tons of dua. Not just for yourself, not just for your family, your loved ones, but also for the Ummah of Rasulullah and for all of humanity. Make lots of dua before Rabbul Alameen. And lastly, a final point is to plead before Allah that Ya Allah accept our ibadah, accept our worship that we've engaged in throughout the whole month of Ramadan. Whether it was our siyam, our fasting, whether it was our qiyam, uh, salat al-taraweeh or salat al-tahajjud, whether it was us giving in charity, 
whether it was helping anyone. Ask Allah, Rabbana taqabbal minna. Oh Allah, accept you know whatever we've had to offer. It's not worthy. However, oh Allah, please do accept the little that we are placing before you. So inshallah with that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us more ability and, and you know enable us to do more in the coming year inshallah. With that I'll end with today's session. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us right in the Sunday Mazdeen. Rabbana taqabal minna inna kanta samina alim. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika shadu la ilaha illa anta sawfiraku wa atubu ilaik.